In this video, I'll be testing this REI Basecamp tent against not just light rain, not just heavy rain, but also for rainy day ventilation plus a bonus rain test as well. But before we do so, let's first check in on the tent. On the outside of the tent, I checked the rain fly and all the seams were taped. And for the inside of the tent, I noticed that the flooring seams running the length of the tent have been nicely taped, and the corner seams of the flooring are also taped. However, I noticed that the rest of the seams were not taped. For example, this door seam here was not taped. This mesh seam at the top of the tent was also not taped. Some seams across the tent are not taped, but happen to be inverted. Of all the tents that I've rain tested so far, I've noticed a couple of important things that affect any tent's rain protection. These are mainly the length of the rain fly and also the seam taping. And in this case, the REI base camp has a fantastic rain fly length, which I think should be able to protect all the seams from the rain. Let's put it to the test and find out. I put this base camp 6 through a few light rains, which weren't very heavy, lasting at most a couple of hours. In the light rain, I found that I could leave these top vents of the base camp open, and no water got into my tent through these vents. And to summarize, this base camp tent was a champ in light rain, and there were no leaks at all. But it just wasn't heavy enough, so I decided to use this water hose instead to simulate really heavy rain, which looked like this. I did this for one full hour, exactly like this. And during my heavy rain test, here are three of the most important things that I noticed. First, let's talk about ventilation during the heavy rain. Because of the direction of the water coming from the water hose, which is almost like a horizontal rain, I had to shut the vent at the top of the tent near the hose because the angle of the hose would have sprayed water right into the tent. On the other hand, I could leave the other vent open because the rain wasn't directly going into it. Ultimately, whether you can leave these vents open depends on the direction of the rain and the wind. In my experience, while I didn't quite like that the position of the vents would let water into the tent in heavy rain, I really appreciated that I could actually open and shut these vents from the inside of the tent. Even if you have to shut both these vents in the heavy rain, there's still this gap between the rain fly and the ground which you will get a little bit of ventilation from. So overall, for ventilation, not the worst. Second, let's talk about the vestibules in the rain. After the rain has stopped, or even if it's still pouring and you're rushing into your tent, I highly recommend going back into your base camp tent through the front vestibule and not the back vestibule. This is why the front vestibule has this white pole that pulls the brain fly over the tent door, providing a little bit of an overhang over the door, and it actually prevents water from dripping off the roof and into your tent. Here's me shaking the rain fly, and notice how the rain is falling. On the other hand, the back vestibule doesn't have this pole, and the vestibule is much smaller with no overhang over the door. So if the door is open, water will drip off the roof and into the tent, which is obviously something you want to avoid. So I really like the front vestibule for rainy days instead. Third, let's talk about the rain fly. Because of the length of the rain fly, which provides almost full coverage, the rain fly protects the inner tent really well. In fact, notice that the water drips off the rain fly and onto the ground directly without touching the inner tent body too much. This is how a full rain fly works in the rain. And now, the part that you've been waiting for, the heavy rain test results. So, after the one hour of really heavy rain around the base camp tent, I found that the entire tent was still dry and there was not a single drop of water inside the tent. In fact, every part of the tent was still dry. I checked the inner tent body, the mesh, the seams, and even the rain fly, and all these things were still 100% dry. I'm pretty sure I could have continued this test for hours and no water would get into the tent because of the full coverage rain fly, which is very impressive. In fact, I even sprayed so much rain over the tent that the ground was starting to flood a little bit like this. Then I noticed this one thing. This looks like a tub floor, right? I thought it was too at first, but it's not. If you take a closer look, the blue fabric here is actually made of inverted seams that are not taped at the bottom of the blue fabric. These run the length of the tent and are only inverted, not taped. 
On the other hand, a couple of these seams have been taped right here. And this white seam running all the way down to the bottom of the tent at the corners are also not taped, but only inverted as well. In the tent check at the beginning of this video, I didn't mention these seams, but here they are. I was curious about these seams, so I sprayed water directly onto the tent body and not the rain fly, like so. And I noticed that after 30 to 45 minutes or so, there was some leaking through these seams right here at the corners. So hopefully there isn't, but if there's light flooding where you are, the seams on the flooring need to be sealed for sure to prevent water from getting in. Overall, did this REI base camp tent perform the way you expected it to? Let me know down in the comments below, and if this video has been helpful to you, please help me hit that like button. Thank you, and I really appreciate it. For me, honestly, this REI base camp blew me away. It is easily one of the best tents I have against heavy rain so far, and I'm loving not just the full length rain fly, but also the adjustable vents from the inside of the tent, which seems to be a pretty uncommon feature to have. On the off chance that your campsite is flooding, I recommend just sealing these couple of seams. But of course, the best case scenario would be to find higher ground and not be sitting in flood water. If so, this REI base camp is one of the best family camping tents to keep you out of the ridiculous heavy rains. For a much more in-depth review on this REI base camp 6, including things like spaciousness, features, quality, and loads more, I highly recommend that you watch this video on the screen right here before buying this tent. Thank you for watching this rain test, and I'll see you in the next one.